everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we will be talking about two potentially hidden features as a part of Google Messages that you didn't know was there. So a lot of you might know that I use Google Messages instead of Samsung Messages. I was a major advocate of Samsung Messages until Google Messages got all of the whole chat services features a part of it and so many other things that I like about Google Messages over Samsung Messages. Now a lot of times people always state, well I use Samsung Messages for this reason, this reason and this reason but a lot of those reasons is actually a part of Google Messages and sometimes you just don't know where to find it or how to use it. So inside of Samsung Messages, you have the ability of scheduling out a text message. So let's just state that my buddy J-Dub has a birthday coming up. Maybe it's tomorrow morning uh, and I wanted to be one of the first people to do it. I know he gets up at 6 a.m. I'm not really up until 7 a.m. But if I wanted to wish him a happy birthday, all you'd have to do is just simply type out whatever you would like to state or maybe you need to remind somebody of something at five o'clock. Maybe they state, hey, at five o'clock, remind me to do this. You're able to schedule this out so then you, in fact, wouldn't uh, forget as well. Once you type out that message, you head over to this little send button and you simply do a press and hold. Now, once you do this press and hold, you can set it up for later today at 5 p.m., maybe later tonight at 9 p.m., tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. These ones were just set up there and, and just as default but you can pick a date and a time. So we're gonna go with tomorrow morning. So once you choose the day, now you just gotta choose the time. So again, I'm gonna do 6 a.m. just because this is the time that he gets up, I'm still asleep. Once you hit on next, it's gonna be uh, you know showing you what you've inputted and then you just go hit on send. So this right here is a, a scheduled message that you can do. You can see right there that there is that little timer right there, little clock. You can simply tap on it if you would want to delete it. You can send it now or you can update the message. Now, the other thing that's really nice about this is sometimes you're trying to figure out what you wanna say to your friend. Maybe it's a serious conversation uh, or maybe you're uh, having an argument, you're putting something out there and you're like, ah, I don't know if I should really send it or not. This is one of those cool things that I used to do back on Verizon like five, six, eight years ago. Um, and it's a way that it will have a delayed text. It can hold it for about 10 seconds. I can hit X right away uh, if I feel like I don't need to send it. But this is a way that you can really put your thoughts out there or maybe just simply a reminder um, so in this way you'd be able to not only push out whatever you'd like to state um, but also think about what you're also stating as well now the second thing that i do want to cover is talking about these little shortcuts so on the samsung keyboard you have the simple ability of creating text shortcuts it was a little bit harder to find it inside of this little uh you know google keyboard this uh the the g board now the cool thing you can do is this is google messages and inside of google messages you still can can use your Samsung keyboard. So if you're a big, massive fan of, of whatever you have created with inside of your Samsung keyboard, you can still use this inside of Google Messages. But if you're using Gboard and you're trying to figure out how to do some of these things, um, this is how you're able to set it up. But before we go inside of the whole, you know, creating a text shortcut, if you guys are brand new here at the Challenge of Me is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. And again, if you appreciate this thing, give it a big thumbs up because it does help the YouTube algorithm push this video to a larger audience now when you want to set up a little shortcut so this one that I do have here is I just put JIP so it's a shortcut so then this way my email will pop up right up in the center so this way I can send it off and, and send it to people things like that another one that I have created is one that's called Addy uh, it's a way that it's able to push off my PO box so then companies can send me some products so instead of me having to remember whatever that PO box is I'd be able to just type in Addy boom send it's off and finished so in order for you to set this up inside of Gboard what you want to do is go inside of the settings then you go right inside of dictionary then you go to personal dictionary and then you go to English. And a lot of times people just go about right there and that is pretty much about it. They don't really know exactly what to do. So this is where you go with that little plus. You can see here that the bottom is the shortcut. The top is the phrase or the word you would like to use. So if you wanted to create one, you just go inside of that little plus button. This is the, the shortcut. This is the, what you would like to type out. So then this way it would show whatever is on the very top. So the top is where you put in that longer sentence 
word, whatever it is. So one of the things that I do like to do is inside of Twitter, I always like to use these hashtags right there. And instead of me having to go through and type this out every single time, I'd be able to just simply uh, let's see hash tags. Now hashtag is probably a word that I would use quite often, but hashtags is something that I probably wouldn't use on a normal day to day basis. So in terms of creating a shortcut, make sure you don't use you know, words that you would always do in a sentence, like you never want to do the word the <laughs> inside of there. If you want to mess with somebody, if somebody leaves their phone out, you can go inside of this area here and you can go to shortcut, put in the word the, and then put something else up there. So every single time that they type the, something else will come. And it's a pretty good, you know, uh, non hurtful little, little uh, trick that you can do to people. But anyways, so hashtags is something that I can definitely remember. So then this way, anytime that I want to type in the word hashtags, it's going to put that up for me. So if I go inside of Twitter, then I'd be able to uh, just type in the word hashtags and it's going to put it all there. But since we're inside of this right here, boom, there we go. So now I create whatever tweet I'm talking about. I put in the word hashtags. It just goes right there and then I'm pretty much done and finished with all of that. So these were two different features that were part of Samsung messages and the Samsung keyboard that I wanted to show you how you were able to do it um, if you are using Google messages uh, or if you were using Gboard. So the, the whole you know text shortcut thing took me a while to find it here and I wanted to share it with you. When it came down to this little um, send icon over here, uh, I was used to Facebook Messenger where you press and held and then and basically that little thumbs up got bigger, 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 bigger. Um, I was using that for the majority of the day. And then when I press and held there, it, say, it, it popped up this whole scheduled send. And so I wanted to share it with you guys. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.